play. Here's the thing that I also know people come across in my work. Is a parents like, I don't wanna play with my kid. And what's, what's the point of play? Well, play is educative, right? Kids are learning in play. So, so if you have families that are kind of sort of like, what's the point? Here's some things you can use to share with folks around why play matters. It's really amazing how she teaches us the importance of play and really breaking it down to the simple level as well as the intervention level and uh, models how we should uh, show that to our parents that we work with. Thank you and welcome. Dr. Stout. Thanks. Okay, got a hug. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So for people who don't know me, there are probably three people in the room who don't know me. Um, I am Dr. Barbara Stroud. I am the uh, inaugural president of Cal AIM. We're so excited. I am a trained, I'm trained as a clinical and developmental psychologist. So I have this interesting hybrid background in understanding development of young children and then also uh, my clinical lens, um, my traditional uh, psychology training as well. So if we think, of, I like to think about the first year as understanding myself and my world. The first year is how I have some power over my body. Like I'm, I'm, I'm now able to cross the midline, I'm now able to reach things, I'm able to pull and stand. And, and I'm using my sensory world to gain information. The first year is all about my body and space, learning how to use my body in relationship to other people and having control over what my body can do. That's kind of how I see the first year, okay? The, and, and learning the cues for relationships. This is what mommy needs, this is what daddy needs, this is what my sibling needs, this is what my child care provider needs if I'm in child care. And then 13 months is the challenge to all of those rules. Let's challenge those. This is, this is the first window of autonomy, and that's okay. It's okay, because we're, we're, we're pushing against what we know. We're pushing against what we know, and we'll do it again when we're adolescents. That is not this training. People are focused on the behavior. Why did you do that? You didn't make a good choice. Use your words. I said this yesterday for people who me yesterday. If I had access to my words, I would have used them, right? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not using my words because I'm stuck in a brain system that doesn't give me access to my words. I'm overwhelmed emotionally. I can't get to my words, right? So when I can't get to my words, good questions are, what do you need from me? The behaviors don't come out of nowhere to annoy me. At least I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't think kids do things intentionally to upset or manipulate me. That's my value. I think everything has a reason. I think kids are doing things for a reason. You may not know the reason yet. Every behavior I think kids have a purpose for and a reason for, it may not be known to us. And it may not be known narratively, declaratively to them either. Uh, the participant was telling that her, her daughter's six-year-old open house at school, she, the child wrote, my sister is more important to me than a pot of gold because she plays with me. Yay, I love it. This is essential information for uh, people and professionals that work with Zero to Five. Uh, it informs my everyday practice as uh, I have more information about what to look for.